Hi guys, welcome back to What's Cooking Today on Perfect Eats. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Emma and I make easy breezy recipes for those of you guys who are new to cooking. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and simple recipe on how you can make your very own sambal stingray, my favourite. Let's get started. So for this recipe, I'll be using 3 portions of stingray and you're going to need some pandan leaves. We will be blending 4 red chilies, 6 shallots, 6 garlic, an inch of ginger and 1 lemongrass. To simplify this recipe, we will be using a store-bought chili paste around 100 to 150 grams and you're going to need some tamarind water and a tablespoon of toasted blacha. So for whatever cuts that you choose to use for this recipe, remember to salt it generously and we're going to line our trays and coat it with some oil and we're going to lay down the fish and place it in a preheated oven for at least 5 minutes. Now remember to set your oven at 250 degrees Celsius. So while we wait, let's fry all of our blended ingredients together and at this point in time, remember to be generous with the oil. Fry until you see that the oil separates and we're going to add in half a cup of our tamarind water. To balance out the spiciness, you can either add sugar or gula melaka and add salt to taste. Your sambal is almost ready and we're gonna set this aside to cool. After 5 minutes is up, we're going to remove the stingray from the oven and we're going to coat it evenly with a spread of sambal. Now do not use up all of the sambal, we're gonna reserve it for the next round. And as you can see that I've also lined some banana leaves on the trays. And once that's done, we're gonna place it back into the oven for another 5 minutes. We are going to repeat the same process again but this time we're going to flip over the fish pieces and we're going to do the same thing by coating it with the remaining sambal paste. And it goes back into the oven for another, you guess it right, 5 more minutes. And once you're ready to serve it on a plate, remember to top it off with some calamansi, onions and a side of chinchalo. I can guarantee you guys are gonna love this recipe and I hope you guys do follow us on our Instagram as well as on YouTube for more easy breezy recipes. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!